What is up guys, Bob Guy here playing some GOAT Devotion in Modern. The Zero Lander, Zero Lander we can't keep. If it was a one lander with uh, Weathered Wayfarer, I might even try it, but definitely not keeping the Zero Lander. We'll try this one. We're a little heavy on lands. Oh, I do want more guys. I actually think I might bottom that. It's not real good for us as we are right now, but it's definitely better than drawing another land, so it's hard. But what we really need is to draw to Athalia's Lancer with this hand, I think. Let's bottom it. I just I don't think we win if, if we keep it, necessarily. Okay, some kind of black deck. I wonder if it just has a removal spell. Well, we did end up getting another land, which was exactly what we didn't want. We, we bottomed action and drew a land in a land-heavy hand, which seems weird. It's just that... Well, I guess maybe I should have kept him just for the devotion. Fatal push? Sure. Was expecting the fatal push. Not much I could do about it. Um, in this style of deck, we're probably just going to lose, basically. Although if he's removal dot deck, he might be a little disappointed. That was one of the worst possible draws in our deck. Um, playing him out with the devotion of one is basically almost uh, war you like you. I'll, I'll only play it if I literally am going to lose the game if I don't play it. Uh, having it thought seized might be more valuable to me. Certainly wouldn't play it until five, and I could hold up cloud shift to counter a removal. There's a lot of colors. He's shown me every color so far. All right, and I'm getting more land. All right, well, uh, if I draw Elish Norn, I'll probably be able to play her. That's the bright side. Come on, Thalia's Lancer used to like tutor for something useful. Still no spells from my opponent. All right, that seems, uh, seems legit. And I get more land. Holy God. All right, uh, we don't actually run all that many lands, so... I did keep a land heavy hand, but it's a little rough. One, two, three, okay, breaks that, sure. I will say with the knight. Uh, okay. Uh, taps, untaps, all right. Pass his turn, holy God, what is he doing? All right, you got me. I'm playing an honor the pure. All right, Honor of the Pure resolves. He has... Sphinx is rev for two. Sure, that's fine. Presumably he's going to sit around with counter spells up, which is going to be a little annoying. So I guess this is just five color control or something crazy. Uh, Huntmaster of the Fells, all right, that's fine. I, mean, I guess that puts enough pressure on me that maybe I have to play Springjack Shepherd next turn. Even though it's not really a good play next turn. Ooh, this guy flips if no spells are played. All right. This feels really bad, but I also don't know what else to do. Probably should have played one of these two lands, honestly. Alright. Got the Fatal Push. No, you can't Fatal Push it because you would need to break something short. Probably has multiple removals, but I'll still try to Cloud Shift if he tries to kill it. Okay. Goes to combat. Passes. Sure, he's going to kill a goat token, I guess, when this flips, because he can't kill a Springjack Shepherd. Right? Okay, he kills a goat token. That seems fine. Oh my god. All right. It's going to pass. At some point, I can uh, make another goat, but don't need to do that now. Can't be countered. Sure, I don't think I can save that. I could blink this guy now in response, but I think that's fine. All right. That was a good one. Another land, yep. Sure, seems okay. Okay, what if one of these two creatures steals damage or draw a card? Seems fine. Attacks with both. Okay. Actually, I think I just take six here. I mean, they're going to deal damage either way, so it's not like I'm going to be able to stop this. OK. 
Okay, he has to draw two cards. Seems good. Fix the scalding turn short. All right. On the bright side, I really can't draw much more land. He tapped wrong. I don't know what he's trying to cast, but obviously he tapped wrong. Sure, Ashiok. Needs to see a little bit of what I have. I literally had three non-land cards in a row. Alright. Oh, we got to play two in a row, so it transforms back and he makes another wolf. Alright, I might this might be scoop time just because, yeah, I mean, we literally drew. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop. This this is just not worth it. I should have scooped when he activated Ashiok, probably. There's no way we're winning from here when we're top decking Weathered Wayfarers. It's like the best card that we've gotten. Oblivion Ring, I think, comes in. I think this comes in. Not this one. I think I will take... Well, this is pretty good against him. Black seems to be his removal color, so that's actually not terrible. Don't think Ghost Quarters are worth it. Um, what do I go down? I think Oblivion Rings and Hukari the, is, is pretty good. Spring Jack Shepherd still seems okay, especially because... He mostly showed single target removable. He does have a lot of legendary lands. Let's go down a couple of these. A cloud shift. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I only need two Oblivion Rings. Maybe I'll get on a Lancer. I think that might be better. Now, the Lancers are pretty good against him because they're card advantage, but he didn't have many creatures I felt like I needed to remove. He did have Hunt Master, which was annoying, but that was about it. I'll go first. Well, is it a good hand? Probably not, but it's definitely a better hand, so I will keep it. This one puts pressure on at least, and I will probably be able to play the Boros Reckoner pretty quick. He went down to six, which is a good sign for me. Means he had to mulligan. No turn one play. I'll play the Honor the Pure in the hopes of getting a turn two Boros Reckoner, just because there's nothing good to blink yet. Okay, he gets white blue, sure. Untapped. Serum Visions. Yep, makes sense. Pass this turn. Oh, that would have been good last turn. This turn is not super good. Although I guess it is possible. I just uh, next turn play Thraven Inspector plus Honor the Pure. That way I have a higher chance of hitting my land drop, which is actually probably more expensive, and I don't have anything to use Flicker Respond anyway. All right. Thraven Inspector. Let's it go. Well, if he's holding up Counterspell here, I guess I should just pass and then break it this break it at end of turn to make sure I hit my uh, land drop. Untapped. He has something here then. Okay. Taps, untaps. He has Maelstrom Pulse. Okay. Take this draw a card. Perfect. All right. Um, do I attack here? Let's attack. Let's play a Thraven Inspector. And then let's flick your wisp. Thraven Inspector. He has Tireless Tracker, plays a land, gets a clue, sure. Seems pretty good. I have a couple options here. Honor the Pure doesn't feel bad. Nykthos gets me a little bit of mana. How much does Nykthos get me? Can I play a 2-drop first? I can technically play a 2-drop first. So I think I play Honor the Pure first. But it's, I don't think it's going to help me though. I think I get 4 mana either way. But it actually doesn't hurt me, so let's just do that. I'm playing Honor the Pure either way. Honor the Pure. Wait, wait. Okay. Attack. Takes it, goes to six. Sure, he needs like a board wipe here, probably. Or a way to kill Honor the Pure, one of the two. Maelstrom Pulse would be good. Actually, still would lose, I think, but it'd be good. Yeah, I was going to say, he conceded. Sitting there calculating, I don't think there's a way to win for him there. 
Uh, that felt a little better. I didn't get my Hukori, Hukori, although I think it would be hilarious in the matchup. I get he doesn't need that much mana to operate, but it feels like he needs more than me. And I have a bunch of ways to get it, generate a lot of mana, so... I, I don't think that would be bad. I still think these two are better than Linvala. Like, life total is not a super big issue. The nice thing about this is it gets me an extra creature, but I think it's better just to turn off black or something. I mean, it's a little hard to get up to nine is the only concern, but... I think other than that, I liked how this looked, so I think I'm going to run it back. Well, I think this is keepable, especially on the draw. The only question is, do I slam down the knight turn two, or do I... I probably do. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. If I wait a turn, it could be good. If that comes in tapped, sure. I guess if I don't, I can always just break clue with Thraven Inspector. I would play down a second Thraven Inspector. Both of those feel pretty good. Okay, got a Thraven Inspector down. He has... Okay, he can't take anything from my hand, so that's fine. Um, I need one more land to get to Lancers. Let's pass. Okay, Lingering Souls. I'll break this. Get another land. All right, well, getting the extra land here is not going to be super good then, but that's fine. So one, two, Knight of the White Orchid. Get a land. Oop. Um, do I even want to play a land return? I probably do. Play a land, play three of an inspector. Get a clue, pass turn. One, two, three, four, uh, yeah. Five, and then I'll have six the turn after that. Short, seems good. Swing is for two, presumably. Could path me, I guess. No, oh, now I can do anything. Now he has all the colors. Tax on in. I got 18 short. And get. Ooh. Cloud Shift is interesting. Maybe he has a counter spell here. That would be pretty mean. I mean, I could. I attack. If he wants to double block Thraven Inspector, I'm pretty okay with that. I guess it's not the best thing for me. I could always Cloud Shift him if I really want to. He does double block. That seems okay to me. Um, so I could Cloud Shift and then play down Flicker Wisp. That would seem fine, or I could just take. Let's just take it. I think that's fine. All right. Takes two, loses a guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna run out Thalia's Lancers and see if he counters. He doesn't. Um, yeah. Let's get. Um, I mean, I'm thinking. Uh, Elish Norn feels pretty sweet here, so let's get let's get Elish Norn. All right. Okay. He has target player discards a card, deal two damage to a creature player. Sure, that's not super bad for me. Uh, Cloud Shift feels like what I want to discard. We could discard a Flicker Wisp. Let's discard Cloud Shift. I think that's fine. Okay, tax for three. Sure. I'm winning the race right now. Okay. You could very well have more removal. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to see. I mean, I guess you could have removal on Thalia's Lancers. Well, it doesn't before damage, so it probably doesn't. Okay. Flicker with Thalia's Lancers. Um, 
this back in. Sure, breaks that. Comes untapped. Yep. I will get. I could get Nykthos. Nykthos wouldn't be bad here. Um, in fact, it would be my most mana possible, positive play, and it would give me a chance to get Iona later. I could also see a pretty good argument for just getting... Uh, uh, no, I'm just going to get Nykthos, because I don't actually care. I don't need the light mana. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, maybe I should have used Flicker Wisp again that turn, and Flicker Wisp my Flicker Wisp to Flicker Wisp something on his turn. Okay, we won the match. Wow, I did not think we were beating that deck, but uh, I think they saw the writing on the wall and knew the Elish Norm was coming down next turn, and I guess they didn't have a way to deal with it. Fatal Push definitely doesn't. And all they had really done this game is kill a few things and uh, put down some spirit tokens. So, yeah, what would have drawn that turn? Would have drawn two cards. Neither of them super relevant. Uh, if I didn't think they had any removal, I probably would have played Knight of the White Orchid and then activated Shrine. Um, one, two, three, four, five... I would have only had eight, so I couldn't have played Iona Shield of Amaria, but I would have obviously played the other one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Woo! Goats! Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.